a power line right of way. Is that a good place to deer hunt? Well, let's find out from Brandy McElright. She's with Georgia Power and she knows all about this sort of thing. What do we need to know? There are several things that you should consider. The first is who owns the property. There may be an underlying property owner different from Georgia Power and Georgia Power just has what's called an easement to cross the property or Georgia Power may actually own the property. So you need to keep that in mind when you're looking into permission for hunting. Okay, so I have permission, so now I can come and build my blind. So if you have permission mm. from the underlying property owner, you still need to consider Georgia Power's rights of use of the right-of-way. So to be compatible with our right of use, you need to keep the stand in the outer 10 feet of the right-of-way. It should be no higher than 15 feet and it should be portable, meaning that it's not permanently affixed to the ground in case we need to move it out of the way as we're in here working on our power I lines. I see. How about building right under the power lines? That is not allowed for good reason. Mm, certainly. Safety issues. We don't want deer stands right under the power lines. They should never be attached to our structures. They really need to be kept in the outer 10 feet of the right of way. Okay. So knowing the rules, the safety issues, still a good place to deer hunt you knowing those things.